Well, bourbon shrooms. You might be asking yourself, what in the world are those? Yeah, and how could they help Kentucky distilleries? Lakes 18's Kristen Edwards has the answers. Every day, Wilderness Trail Distillery produces 215 barrels of bourbon. And with that comes 90,000 gallons of a byproduct called stillage. After the first distillation, um, we get rid of all of this. It's hazardous to the environment, so they can't just dump it or throw it away. Getting rid of your stillage is one of the biggest headaches for distillers. Instead, farmers come by every day to take it off their hands and feed it to their cattle. They hear the truck, they know to come running. <laughs> Yeah. But as distilleries continue to grow and therefore create more stillage, the challenge of what to do with it is getting more serious. That's where Tyler Barzee comes in. He's researching how to use stillage as fertilizer to grow mushrooms, like this oyster mushroom. As they grow, they consume the stillage. Basically, this process is sort of like composting in many ways. He's focusing on gourmet mushrooms, which can go for $15 to $25 a pound. We are trying to make positive solutions that uh, are really good for the environment, good for people, good for our economies. It doesn't hurt that they have a catchy name, too. They're appropriately called bourbon shrooms. And no, there's no alcohol in them. And no, they're not the kind that gets you high. What they are is a tasty treat, one that offers another creative solution to a problem distillers have had for years. Kristen Edwards, LEX 18 News. UK is still very early in the research process, but the end goal of the project is to teach distilleries how to grow the mushrooms on their own, where mushroom producers could also take it on.